the new year nutrition edition continues with the best-selling author of the Eat to Live Diet and his latest Eat to Live cookbook. Please welcome Dr. Joel Furman. Hey. Thank you. Hey, I was saying that this, uh, I really enjoy your book very much because I think that it's manageable and I think it's the way a lot of people live and it makes me feel good that we can eat all of these great foods and not feel bad. And eat as much as you want. Right. It's and, not about dieting. And this has been called nutri nutritarian diet. You Why is that? Nutritarian. Well, the word nutritarian means you eat foods that are rich in nutrients. Mm -hmm. You know what? That recent advances in nutritional science show us that we can win the war on cancer, like breast cancer. Let's wipe out breast cancer, getting people eating these high nutrient foods that prevent cancer. Mm. You don't have to have heart attacks. You don't have to have strokes. You don't have to get demented when you get in later life. And the foods that prevent cancer say, no way, Jose, I'm not letting you store fat on my body. Mm. The most powerful anti-cancer foods are fat inhibiting. They inhibit fat storage hormones as well. So one diet does it all. Let's get America back on track and let's get a, have the healthiest population possible. This is what recently <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Diet, would you say? I'd say mostly. You know that we can we can eat some animal products, but mostly as flavoring and condiments. I try to tell people to hold animal product consumption to less than 10% of calories. Okay. Because we look at the studies that show that when you go up from 10% to 30%, which is what Americans are eating, mm -hmm. you could see a 400% increase rate of cancer from going from 10% to 30%. Wow. A recent study followed 6,000 people for 18 years in the 50 to 65 age range, following them, and they showed that people who ate those higher protein diets had a 75% increased risk of early life death and a 400% increased risk of cancer. So we're trying to get people right on, tra on track with the recent science. So tell us about these G-bombs that you talk about in the book, G-bombs. That's right, G-bombs. Isn't that a great word? Yeah, I like it. Greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. Okay. The foods are the most powerful anti-cancer effects. Mm -hmm. And green vegetables. Like here we have an example of cruciferous green vegetables. Broccoli, kale, bok choy, Brussels sprouts, arugula, watercress. These foods are full of what we call ITCs, dramatic protection against breast cancer. And the protection is magnified when you chew the food better. Okay. Because you produce them in the mouth as you chew better because it causes the compounds to look When made. you chew the food, so uh, uh, as you I like to eat a salad, I like to eat a salad yeah. really, really ultra chopped. Should I not be doing that? Should I be chopping no, no. it myself with my teeth? No, it doesn't matter whether it's chopped <laughs> out of the body or in the body. Okay. So you gotta, you gotta, the point is you gotta crush the cells for the chemical reaction. I just wanted to know. I know. No, that's a great question. Yeah. I just, I and, love it. And beans, beans, you know, beans have the, are very protective against cancer. They're full of resistant starch, which means that the glucose, the carbohydrate calories, don't get absorbed. It slows the absorption of glucose, keeps your insulin down, keeps great food for diabetes, mm -hmm. and dramatic protection against cancer. Like people who eat beans twice a week mm -hmm. had 50% lower risk of colon cancer. Okay. Imagine if you eat beans every day. Well, no more friends left. That's true. But you won't get cancer. I, I have to say though, you feel so full when you eat this type of food. It but really fills you up. That's those aren't good for live TV either. Um, <laughs> like the onion. This is the, what about the kissing doctor? Mm -hmm. You know, you, you kiss her. These and yeah. garlic and onion, right? That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's great. You know, and we're talking here about 50 to 80 percent reduction in common cancers when people eat onions every day. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aim for half a cup and put a little raw onion in your salad because raw enhances the protection. Raw? Yes, because mm. the enzyme alanase is heat sensitive okay. and you can deactivate it, but you want to blend it before you cook it and you'll still get the, the benefits. Well, we okay. got to take a quick yeah. break, Daniel. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to um, come back and talk about some cost saving tips for buying fruits and vegetables. So don't go anywhere. More with Dr. Joel Furman, and we'll be back. Tomorrow on Live Angela.